What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode of Moonshot Monday. Today, I'm gonna pitch the Tesla smart air conditioner and more broadly, the company's vision into creating the sustainable smart home. And this is something that you may be already sort of aware of. I mean, Tesla's announced a solar roof product to embed solar panels in your roof and have them seamlessly blend in. Additionally, they have a home battery. These products are designed to have your home take energy from more renewable sources, potentially even get fully off the grid and go energy independent. And you know, this has been a part of Tesla's story for a while, but on Elon Musk's recent podcast with Joe Rogan, which is a two and a half hour podcast, I mean, a whole video about it, I can't recommend it highly enough. Well, about two hours in, him and Joe Rogan start getting in this, this discussion about a smart air conditioner and the potential that would have to reduce energy usage overall and how this is such a huge problem in terms of our overall energy landscape. And it just got me thinking about Tesla's smart home business in a totally different way. So um, for, before we get into it, I want to play the clips. To give a little context here, Elon Musk is describing how the company had to rebuild the original Roadster, which was originally built from a Lotus Elise body from the ground up, how this was way more difficult than they thought, how they had to redesign almost everything in the car from scratch, including the HVAC system, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Like the HVAC system, the, the you know, the air conditioner mm -hmm. was a belt-driven air conditioner. Off, off a, oh, so now we right. needed a, something that was electrically driven. Which, we needed a new a AC compressor. And all that takes away from the battery life as well, right? Yeah, we needed an, a small, highly efficient air conditioning system um, that fit in a tiny car and was electrically powered, not belt-driven. <laughs> it's very difficult. So this is a really fascinating tidbit because it shows how, you know, necessity is the mother of innovation. Tesla was forced to redesign an, heat, an HVAC system, an electric system, because this is an electric car with a massive battery into it. And I Googled, and there's even a blog post from 2006 on Tesla's blog, still up today, called Blowing Hot and Cold. And it's all about how one of the test and validation managers describes how they had to invent this new, entirely new air conditioning system for the Roadster, and they go into this entire detailed breakdown of how it works. So thought this was super, super fascinating. And there you see the seeds of where Tesla was already being forced to sort of rethink what an HVAC heating, ventilation, air conditioning system is and how to make it better and how to make it electric. And so this has been something that's been schemed on for Tesla for over 10 years. Before going to the next clip of Elon, I also wanted to bring up that in the Model 3, Tesla's patented an entirely new HVAC system, which is not in the Model S and X, which is this super interesting method where it has two beams of air that shoot at each other, sort of making one horizontal plane. And then by, you know, controlling how hard and how strong these two planes are going, you can control exactly the strength, temperature, and direction of this singular line. And it's just a much better consumer experience from an air conditioning perspective. So keep that in mind. The Model 3 has this entirely redesigned and patented HVAC system, which in my opinion, probably got its start in inception when Tesla was building the new HVAC system for the original Roadster. And now where it gets super, super interesting, about two hours and two minutes into the Joe Rogan podcast. Joe Rogan is assuming like, how can we reduce our energy input in homes? Maybe we should just turn our TV offs. And then this triggers an unbelievably fascinating rant from Elon Musk. And how ridiculous you are with the TV. TV is no problem. Blenders, air conditioning. Air conditioning. Air conditioning, air, air conditioning oh. is, the, is the problem. If you have an efficient air conditioner and you don't, uh, and, and depending on how, like, are you air conditioning rooms when they don't need to be air conditioned, which mm. is very common because it's right. a pain in the neck. You know, it's like programming a VCR. It's like, right. you know, it's just the blinking 12. So people just like, the hell with that. I'm just going to make it this temperature all day long. Right. Um, they don't have a smart home where if you're in the room, then it stays cool. Right. Yeah. It should predict when you're going to be home uh, and then cool the room, the rooms that you're likely to use with a little bit of intelligence. We're not talking about like, genius home here. We're just talking like elementary basic stuff. Right. Um, you know, like if you could hook that into the car, like it knows you're coming home. Like there's no point mm. in cooling the home, right. keeping, the, com keeping the, ho the home really cool when you're not there. Right. But it can tell that you're coming home. It's going to cool it to the right temperature right Do you when have you an get app there. that works with your solar panels or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, we do. And but we need to hook it into the air conditioning to really make the air conditioning work. This is one of my favorite, you know, I've watched this clip probably 10 or 15 times now. I mean, you're really watching, Elon Musk is an entrepreneur. He thinks of problems and pain points. And then, you know, it's just constantly thinking about ways to solve him. This is how he started the boring company. He was in traffic and just tweeted, maybe we should build tunnels. You know, you, you get this just unfiltered raw. I mean, this was a live an unedited podcast just of how Elon thinks. He's like, why are people leaving their air conditionings on? It's so inefficient. Um, and I actually did 
did some Googling, it looks like an air conditioning or at least heating, cooling and ventilation system, according to this article, um, is actually responsible for about 30 percent of the entire uh, energy usage of the average home is just from, you know, heating and cooling and et cetera. And part of the reason it's so, you know, energy uh, intensive is because we're putting our air conditioners on when we don't need them. As Elon explains, like they're dumb air conditioners. As a New Yorker, this is something I, I see and deal with constantly. Like I have this incredibly crappy old air conditioner um, and it just never works. I, like like I have, we all have super old air conditioners. They're all incredibly loud. They have like eight buttons or nine buttons. You have to click like 30 times to be able to program it. It usually doesn't work when you do program it. What I'm saying is it just requires a very little bit of programming to actually have a vastly more efficient air conditioning system than most people have in their home. Like he said, if your car already knows you're coming home, there's just this beautifully integrated smart home system that is only heating the rooms you need to get heated when you need to heat them from a cost and sustainability perspective, a huge, huge breakthrough for a problem that represents a third of the average American household's energy usage. Tesla's not the first person to think about this problem. If you recall, there's a company called Nest that with the smart thermostat, you've probably seen it in some of your fancy friends' homes. It hooks into your AC system and you can set it with timers. It has an app. It looks really fancy. It was designed by Tony Fidel, who was the uh, originally worked for Apple, invented the iPod. Nest actually recently got bought out by Google for a couple billion dollars. So that just goes to show you, you know, there has been innovation in the space, but that also validates just how massive of an opportunity this is to sort of put a little bit of intelligence into our heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. I just can't get over uh, how this just made everything click in my head with how Tesla is rethinking about every single way we use energy in our homes. How do we make that more sustainable? How do we make that more efficient? How do we generate electricity from sustainable sources? You know, if we can get an air conditioning system that's using dramatically less energy because it's dramatically more efficient um, and maybe Tesla is also innovating on ways to make it when it is on even if you left it on for the same 12 hours as your old air conditioner it would still use less energy because it's more efficient we're talking about drastically reducing the amount of energy usage of the average American home maybe by 10 or 15 percent overall and if you think about this calculation of how many solar panels do I need how many batteries do I need to buy uh, to, to really go off the grid and generate all my electricity that becomes easier and easier as you reduce the need of energy from the products in your home. So that is why the air conditioning product makes so much sense because if Tesla's selling you a smart AC, that means you're going to use less energy. That means that your solar roof is more affordable. You're only going to need one power wall instead of two maybe. So it, it just really shows how the, the cheapness and efficiency and mainstream appeal of Tesla's sustainable smart home is going to continue to increase as they keep reinventing different products. And this gets you, the, and, and what's so fascinating here is at the end of this rant, of course, Joe Rogan asks Elon, like, is Tesla going to get into this? Have you thought about creating an air conditioning system i know you have trick question <laughs> cannot answer questions about future potential okay products. let's just let it go we'll move on to the next thing but that would be an interesting idea yeah i would say radiant heating all that good ideas that's all you need to see right there. Elon does the devious grin. He says, I can't talk about future potential products. I mean, this in my gut feeling says Tesla's roadmap in the long term is to really reinvent almost everything in your home. You know, they want to have an air conditioning system that is going to be heating and cooling um, with this new sort of air ventilation technology that they patented that's in the Model 3. The system is going to be in your home. It's going to be connected to your Tesla battery, which is going to be charging up on the Tesla solar panels, which are powered by the sun. And this is the future of a clean, sustainable smart home that I think is is so fascinating and um, also just a massive business opportunity. In the last year alone, over 5 million unit air conditioners were sold in the US. You know, if you assume that's a couple hundred bucks a pop, that could be, you know, thou or hundreds of millions, billions in revenue from just the US, from just, you know, the window AC unit. Um, I also read this other report from Radiant Insights that assumes the AC market in North America will be worth uh, 53 billion or so by the year 2020. Just the HVAC system of North America is a $50 billion market. This is a huge, huge opportunity to reinvent how we heat and cool our living spaces. But beyond that, it gets me thinking of like, okay, if Tesla's going to rebuild the HVAC, what about the water heater? What about like, is it possible to collect rain from the roof too and have our own water tank? Like there's just so many different ways that I think we could improve the way our homes work. I mean, so much of our, our housing technology and our energy infrastructure and our AC infrastructure and technology is built on stuff that is from the fossil fuel era that was invented 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago that hasn't changed, that hasn't gotten more sustainable, that hasn't gotten smarter. And Tesla is ready to reinvent all of that. And this is why I'm so excited about Tesla as a company. And I think it's so hard to 
put a value on them and look at them through this niche of, oh, they're just an electric car maker. This is an energy company. They sell products that consume energy, cars, produce energy, solar panels, store energy, batteries, and they're gonna expand in all three of those verticals. You know, your air conditioner consumes power, your water heater consumes power. So those are within Tesla's wheelhouse. You know, uh, your diesel truck on the highway consumes power. They need to build electric trucks. Your, your plane that you're gonna fly to for your next vacation is consuming oil and fossil fuels. That should eventually be electric as well. Like every single thing that you can think of um, is, is can be tied back to this expertise and efficiency in software and battery technology, which is allowing Tesla to reinvent um, and to, to, to just leave the fossil fuel era in the dust. And the bigger the problem, the bigger the opportunity. I go around to all my friends' ACs. I look at the way I'm generating power from the grid. Nobody's doing it sustainably yet to reinvent every North American household to something that's off the grid or something that's at least sustainable and hooked into a grid that's mostly running on solar panels means we have a ton of work and building to do and hundreds and billions of dollars in contracts to get this done. And I think Tesla is the leader and they're going to get a ton of this business. And that's why I'm so, so excited about the energy and sort of sustainable smart home component of this company. You might be asking like, when will the smart Tesla smart AC launch? Like, when is this coming? Is it going to be in the stores? Um, you know, I have no idea. And maybe it'll be 2028, maybe it'll be 2025, maybe it'll be 2035, maybe it'll be never. And there's also a good chance it doesn't look like the current ACs we have. I mean, I just did this rendering cartoon myself to help you visualize it, but there's a good chance, you know, Tesla could go into manufacturing entire homes from the ground up and building this heating ventilation system into the home so you don't even see it, but leveraging the same technology. And, you know, Tesla recently just announced that they're going to be uh, hiring 20,000 employees at the Gigafactory are, are up from an originally planned 10,000, I believe. And they're actually so desperate for housing at the Gigafactory, they may even have to build their own employee housing. So if you're already getting into building homes from the ground up, you already have the solar roof, you already have the solar battery. Now let's get into the heating and ventilation system, which you're already patented for the Model 3 and you're already pioneering. You've already done the hard work of develop, developing that technology. Now it's just about building it into people's homes. And so that is why I think the, the Tesla AC is so, so fascinating. And the, the other side of this analogy that I love is that Tesla has a network of 400, you know, 500 and growing stores around the world that that serve as, as customer showrooms and experience centers for all of their products. You know, once they launch the smart AC or the smart water heater, they can just put these in their stores and there's almost no incremental marketing costs for all of these additional products. And if they're already going to your house to install the roof and install the battery, why not also install the AC and the water heater, etc. cetera. So um, it's just the, the sustainable smart home, I think is, is something I'm really passionate passionate about from also just a climate perspective. I think it's a huge opportunity. I think just like our cars are going to, to off fossil fuels, our homes are going off fossil fuels. And these are two equally massive opportunities that Tesla is tackling. And I think the Tesla AC is such a perfect little microcosm of the disruption that Tesla is doing. Um, and so that's why I wanted to share this episode with you. I hope this inspires you to think outside the box about Tesla's business model, what future products they could innovate on, and just how you think about the company. Because this, this podcast and just that specific two minute clip I showed you really just changed my idea uh, of Tesla's vision for the smart home. Anyway, this is hyperchange. This is another episode of Moonshot Monday. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the channel, definitely check out our Patreon page and consider supporting there. We have a premium newsletter. Uh, you can get a producer credit in the titles. Huge shout out to everybody supporting on Patreon. It means a ton. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.